The Egyptian parliament was dissolved in 2012. That's after a court ruled that the process was unconstitutional. Mohamed Morsi, who was president at the time, was unable to reassemble an Islamist majority parliament, and he was later ousted by current president Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. In July last year, a three-step roadmap was put together to hold parliamentary elections. The first two stages have been achieved. But the vote itself has been postponed several times, and it has to do with a tricky electoral law. Several political forces reject the election law, which allows two-thirds to run on individual seats and a third on closed lists. They want to reduce the individual seats and run on open lists to create a healthy multi-party system. A largely divided individual assembly encourages corruption and dictatorship. President el-Sisi has promised reforms that would be acceptable for all, but no parliament poses a series of challenges for Egypt. Without a parliament, all the powers are with the president. This is non-democratical and hinders economic development as many businesses will not invest here unless there is an assembly and legislation in place. It's a sign of stability. Even if the polling dates are announced, some analysts fear that the election process could prove unconstitutional because it exceeded the one-year deadline mentioned in the 2013 constitution. The new parliament could be dissolved again and a vicious circle continues. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.